Auburn Tigers again find themselves in a very familiar position with high expectations with a load of talent, but also facing uh, maybe the toughest competition in college football, starting with that team across the state and filtering through the rest of the SEC Western Division with a tough opener again against the Pac-12. we got Vernon Speak Sports on the line to talk Auburn football. Vernon, how's it going today? Oh, everything's going great, Mark. Good to see you, and uh, glad to have you back uh, to talk some Auburn football and Gus Malzahn's quest to keep uh, off the hot seat and uh, keep his job there after signing the big contract at the end of 2017. Uh, in terms of fall camp, of course, uh, the focus on the quarterback situation with Joey Gatewood and Bo Nix. Uh, your assessment of where things stand and uh, when we could finally get some sort of an announcement. Well, Gus Malzahn got on, uh, did an interview today uh, post uh, f- uh, fall camp. Uh, interview and he said that you know they're still assessing some things and you know he wasn't ready to make the decision or announce the decision uh today but there are a lot of media outlets especially if you go on social media that say that the decision could be made within the next uh 24 to 48 hours uh i'm pretty sure that they're one guy that they are really really heavily leaning towards i would think that they would have enough information um to be able to get that inf- to get that announcement out within the next two days so based on your evaluation based on who you've seen i know that these kids haven't seen the field with the uh, live bullets so it's kind of difficult to make an assessment right. when you're trying to get them ready for the sec in oregon in week one but uh, based on the reports based on everything that you know what's what's your lean either in regards to trying to second guess and figure out who they're going to select but also who you would like to see be the starting quarterback at this point I would actually like to see Bo Nix. I really like his skill set as far as throwing the football, the command that he takes on on the football field. Um, I really like the fact that he is a documented winner, not to say that Joey Gatewood is not, but you can't hide the fact that this guy threw for over 10,000 yards in high school and to follow that up with another 2,000. You know, it's it's hard-pressed to say that you want a freshman on the – true freshman on the field – uh, with Gus Malzahn situation and the urgency uh, to go ahead and get the ship back right for Auburn. But at this point, you know, I, I really think you could give a guy like Bo Nix a chance and get away with it. Now, certainly uh, the wide receiver position is stacked, although you've got uh, Anthony Schwartz uh, suffered a broken hand, so he's going to be out for a while. Uh, anything else in fall camp, uh, whether you want to take it in that direction, or certainly I know that uh, you're happy with the recent surge over the past couple months in the recruiting rankings as well. Uh, the wide receiver position should be in pretty good shape. You still have uh, guys like Matthew Hill, who uh, was a recruit from the 2017, uh, uh, I mean, the 2018 recruiting class, a big star there, got the uh, transfer from Youngstown State, Zach Farrar. Also been reported that Eli Stove uh, and Will Hastings, who were missing in the uh, last season because of ACL injuries, will be back. And of course, um, you know, a lot of the experienced guys uh, from last year who will definitely make an impact, especially Seth Williams. You can't uh, mention this group without mentioning him. He should be a breakout player for the Auburn Tigers. And as we revert back to recruiting, Auburn had a very, very epic turnaround. You talk about going to uh, being the 29th ranked recruiting class uh, in the late June, early July. Then Big Cat Weekend in comes around. Got three huge recruits. Uh, in that particular class, you're talking about Trenton Simpson, a uh, linebacker from Charlotte, North Carolina. The big one from a couple of weeks ago, uh, Tank Bigsby from Callaway High School in rural Hogansville, Georgia. And then you have Wesley Snyder, another uh, linebacker slash athlete recruit out of Houston County down in Warner Robins, Georgia. Really turned that recruiting class around for Auburn. Talking Auburn football, we got Vernon Speak Sports. You can join him right here on YouTube. So uh, definitely check out uh, his preparation and analysis of Auburn football and the rest of the SEC to get yourself set for 2019. And, of course, lock it in right here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. We've got Vernon on the line here on a regular basis, and rightfully so, because he knows what he's doing and certainly uh, does his homework.